Okay guys, AJ here. Today I'm just going to do a quick run through about what I do to train my guinea pigs. So the first thing you need is some sort of fruit or vegetable or something that you know for sure the guinea pigs can eat. I know that strawberries is pretty good for guinea pigs because it it's high in vitamin C. Now obviously I'm not going to give them whole strawberries, I'm going to eat the top because I'm hungry and then they can get the bottom. Simply put it in the normal place and then I tap. If you watch my other videos, you know that they are they love that kind of tap. If it's just a tapity tap tap tippy tap, they won't recognize it. But it has to be. And obviously, already Squeak is responding, and so was Pip. No, it's normal that Pip doesn't really respond. She likes to steal food. She doesn't really like to go and get it for herself. But Squeak and Chocolate Blunt should come and get it. I can really do this any time, but normally I like to do it at 3.30 to 4 or sometime early in the morning. I don't want it to be too early because I don't want them to feel like they have to wake up. So I normally do it from around 8 to 10, depending on what time I wake up. When it's early in the morning, they're normally a little bit slower. But when it's late in the afternoon, they normally come running pretty quickly. I do this training every two days. I clean their cage twice a week. The first time, I just take out the newspaper, put that in the bin, put newspaper in, new newspaper in. But the second time, I take all the new newspaper out, put it in the bin, and then I actually like scrub it, get out all the, the uh, cobwebs and do like a big, big fire clean. And they love it when I do that. I also like to spray it with um, mite spray just so that if there were any mites there that they all die. And so that the chocolate ball and all the other guinea pigs never get sick again. Because that was really bad when they did. Sometimes when I'm training them I get a little bit bored waiting for them to come out. So I like to read the bible. Have a cup of tea like I do right now. Sometimes I like to listen to music and watch videos. Obviously with the guinea pigs they don't like sudden noises so I can't watch action videos on YouTube or or um, listen to music that is like rock or anything. But I can listen to peaceful music or listen to the theory videos because that's just pretty much somebody talking and they're pretty used to somebody talking. If they're not then they need to get used to somebody talking. They, they need to know that's a good thing. <laughs> Whenever the water is empty I always know that I need to fill it back up straight away. Sometimes even if it's just like going to be empty soon, I need to fill it up. Whenever the pellets are empty as well, which is that little blue bowl there, I also need to fill that up. When I'm cleaning the cage, I like to wash out that blue thing just so it doesn't get too much poo in it. Or spray it with mite spray. The places that really need the mite spray the most is at corners. I also like to spray this little tunnel here. I like to move that tunnel around so they can get exploring. I also like to move that cage around, if you can just see it. Nope, you can't see it, but it's a cage that I like to move around different spots in the garden. I like to do that about every day, but right now it's winter and the grass isn't really growing, so if I move it then it's not really doing much difference. Right now I'm just leaving it there. Normally when I do move it, I like to move it to the places that have the longest grass. But normally when I don't move the cage, they like to come out and explore a bit and choose their own bits of grass, which is really good. Sometimes it's a really little challenge because the grass can be on an angle. I don't like that cage to be on an angle because it can be bad for the guinea pig's back. It's morning at the moment, which is the reason why the guinea pigs are taking so long. I'll just run through the normal things that we need to do. So normally around from 6 to 8, we open that door, 6 to 8 in the morning, and they don't always come out straight away, they might even be asleep, like humans, guinea pigs can have rage on different sleep times depending on how they slept and how they fight it over the food and all that stuff. 
And then at 6 to 7 p.m., when it's dark, pretty much, we like to put food, like, where they sleep, which is normally in that brown bit, or in with the newspaper, just pretty much wherever the big bunches of hay is, and the dark places are. It's just the dogs. We don't have dogs, it's other neighbors' dogs. Um... And so we just like to put food there. We like to put it in different places so that all of them get food. There, these guinea pigs can be a little bit greedy. And then whenever we give them food, we have to do the tap because the tap means food, which is that tap. And if you don't do that tap, then they won't understand. If I have some extra food from like making lunch, or if I or afternoon tea, morning tea, which is, morning tea is right now, which is strawberry tops. Now I like to just throw it off the balcony and tap, and tap it. And they come running out. The reason why they're normally nervous right now is because I'm here, and I'm a human, so sometimes they can see me as a friend. I've just noticed the main reason why they're not coming out, because chocolate bullet just the one who sets an example with the training, is in the other cage. <laughs> Great. Now I have to do back into this one, which is not the best thing to do. Two seconds. Also, every once every two days, I like to do, like, separate training, which will kind of look like this. Just get strawberry. Now with this instead, of, we don't have to tap the thing because I don't need to. Instead I just say good girl, alright? Look at the strawberry girl, you see it? Hmm? Alright, ready? Turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the left. No, he does this. Turn your head to the left. Good girl. She knows that good girl means that she gets food. As well. It's only a real good girl if I'm giving it to her by hand. Oh, you're turning your head to the left, Tom. All right, then. Turn your head to the left. Good girl. Turn your head to the right. That's the left. Girl, turn your head to the right. Okay, turn your head to the left. Good girl. Good girl. You don't want it? Come on, girl. I don't know what she's doing. We're also working on spin. Spin. Good girl. She can only spin halfway at the moment. But she is not wanting to eat the strawberry. Sorry. She hasn't. She's not really used to strawberry. Alright, you want to do stand now? Well, you can also do stand. Which is just trying to get her to lift her head. Stand. Good girl. And she is uneasy at the moment. Alright. And then when we're releasing her, sorry, when we're releasing the guinea pigs, there's also a command so that she knows that she can go. Because some guinea pigs like to run away anyway. All right, you ready, chuckle bullet? Goodbye, chuckle bullet. Whenever you're doing a command or just something that you say, you gotta say it in the same tone, because otherwise they won't know it as the same command. These guinea pigs are very Picky ears. <laughs> All right, let's try this training thing again. So you do the individual separate training once every two days, and this kind of training at least once every two days. It really should be every day. But of course, sometimes it's like super busy, and I don't get time. Moved. Bit of the cage. Come on, girls. Come on. When you're putting their water back in the cage, you don't need to tap the cage because it's water and not food. Bullet, well, you coming? When the guinea pigs are looking like they're going to come over, just say, Chuckle Bullet, you coming? Or whatever their name is. This time, Chuckle Bullet looks like she's coming. Hey, Chuckle Bullet. Come on, girl. Come on. Chuck a bullet, you coming? And then when she actually comes out of the cage, starts saying, Chuck a bullet, come! Come on, Chuck a bullet, come on! Chuck a bullet, come! Come on, girl! Come on, girl! 
Come on. Come on. Chuck a bullet. Come on, girl. When she's actually walking over, don't do any big sudden movements. Because she'll think of that as a as a sign of attack. Come on, chuck a bullet. Come on. Chuck a bullet. Come. Yeah. Good girl. If you grab it, make sure you say good girl, and it needs to be in that tone. And she's done the right thing, and well done, chuck a bullet. Now, if the guinea pigs do take it, which I look like Squeak is about to do, let Chocolate Bullet defend herself, and if she's not doing very well, then simply take the food away from the guinea pig that has stolen it, and put the and if she keeps stealing it from her, then just get the guinea pig away. Obviously, in this situation, Chocolate Bullet is dealing with it pretty well, and she has gotten better over the years. Hey, Squeak! Squeak! Squeaky girl! Squeak, my girl! No, you're not listening. Once you take the strawberry away from them, they'll get a little bit scared because you've actually walked up to them. So tap the pole again and just wait for them to come back. If you're training your guinea pigs for the first time, they will not be familiar to your voice, smell, or actions and the way you move. So just take it easy. They won't be as used to you as the as they used to people who normally do train them, or, you know, <laughs> they've never been trained before, that's okay. Just be patient with them, and they'll come eventually. Come on, girls, come on! Oh, Chocolate Bullet just popped corn, you should have seen it. Can you pop corn for the camera? Can you pop corn again? Hmm? There we go, there's a popcorn. Oh, look at you, popcorn! She's nervous. <laughs> Pop corning is what guinea pigs do when they have a, like, a sudden urge to do something. It's like a little squeal, you know? It's like a little jump of excitement, or happiness, or scaredness, or shocked. It can be really anything. Hey, chuck a bullet! Chuck a bullet! Are you coming? Chuck a bullet, come! So that's pretty much all the things that you need to do with, with a guinea pig when you're training them or when you're doing anything with them. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alright, so when you're actually walking away from the guinea pigs, as in going back inside, just after saying hi to them, one more thing you got to say, which is, goodbye girls! Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. You can subscribe if you like my videos. If not, then you can comment down below about why and what you think I should change. Even if you did like it, just comment down below about anything, really. You can also share my video with your friends, watch more videos, like or dislike, depending on your opinion, and much, much more here on YouTube. Thanks for helping by watching my video. Bye!